In the last video, you saw me route this Dr. Octo Rex into our sampling inputs via an auxiliary send, and we saw some level going into our sampling input. So let's take a look at how we actually meter that level and control what's coming in to our sampling system. So let's play that back again. Now you can see we're getting a pretty healthy level coming into the sampling input, and we can get quite a good idea of what's coming to the system with this small meter. If we want to change that, there's several ways we can do it. Obviously we can change the output of the device we're using, change the level of the input that we're feeding to the sample input, or we can change this auxiliary send that we're using. So really it's about gain structure and signal path, and realizing where we can turn the gain up to increase the level. So let's try doing that. We'll turn the, the gain of the actual Dr. Octorex up. And you can see now we're getting a really hot level going into the sampling input. The only problem is that this small meter here is good, but not exactly that accurate. So if we want a more realistic idea of what's going into our sampling system, we can use the big meter. Now, if we click here, you'll notice the big meter comes up straight away. This can also be activated and deactivated up here in the top of the hardware interface. And it's a really excellent meter and gives us a much better idea of what we're dealing with. I like to have it on peak mode so we can see any clips straight away. And also I like the five second peak hold. That means any peaks will be cleared within five seconds. And also you can clear them yourself using this reset here. So let's start this off again and really see what the level is that we're dealing with. So straight away, we can see that we're getting peaks and it's something that we couldn't really see on this smaller meter. So we're gonna turn it down. And that's much better. So in most situations, I'd probably use the big meter for your sampling and checking the levels that are going into the sampling inputs. So next up, we're gonna take a quick look at routing internal devices from the Reason library straight into the sampling inputs.